Hello, I'm Fred Lee, and we'll be talking about how the AWS Data Exchange, or ADX, has supported the C-19 data needs of academic medical researchers, federal and state governments, and industry customers in their use cases on the topic of COVID-19. Uh, as a personal introduction, uh, I lead healthcare and life sciences for the AWS Data Exchange team. And I started my career in healthcare as a practicing academic general surgeon with a research portfolio in clinical informatics. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the innovative ways our customers have been using data to combat the pandemic and also address the societal impacts uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, while I will speak about the healthcare and life sciences view on C19, um, I wanted to remind you about the breadth and the depth of the data that we have on the data exchange. So again, anyone can search uh, the over 2,300 data products and listings on ADX, and they can subscribe to those listings from over 100 qualified data providers that span many industries, uh, including financial services, markets, and stock exchanges like the Toronto Montreal Exchange, aggregated consumer credit data from credit agencies like TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, insurance uh, intelligence data from Verisk, uh, news data from publishers like Reuters, data on companies and corporate entities from Dun and & Bradstreet and, and ADP, uh, location data from vendors, uh, data publishers such as Foursquare and Pitney Bowes, uh, and finally open data sets from data aggregators such as Enigma, Crux, and REARC. And again, during the analysis of C19, it, this breadth and depth of the data that's available on the data exchange has become highly, highly relevant. So while certainly the initial focus of the C19 uh, analyses and studies have been in a medical, clinical, and public health context, um, the long-term effects of the pandemic uh, have obviously become societal in nature. Uh, in the US alone, we're projecting 26 million unemployed uh, due to the pandemic. And obviously that level of economic disruption will affect every sector, um, every industry, and having data that describes how we work, socialize, act as consumers, and interact with the economy uh, will help organizations understand how to navigate this new normal uh, that's been brought about by the pandemic. So some background on the ADX COVID-19 data initiative. Uh, in February of this year, uh, our publisher customers started to donate free data sets for COVID-19 research in the hope that academic researchers and data scientists could use, could use that data to science our way out of this pandemic. Uh, we now have nearly uh, 100 COVID-19 data listings on data exchange, uh, and those span a wide variety of data types, particularly in healthcare and life sciences. Uh, data such as uh, COVID-19 case projection data from the US, uh, EMEA, and uh, Latin America from IHME, uh, national level healthcare claims data sets uh, that have uh, healthcare utilization data from hundreds of thousands of COVID-19 patients from Change Healthcare, uh, C-19 testing data from HC1, uh, and foot traffic data from Foursquare and Cubic, uh, along with many, many more uh, data products themselves. So this data on the data exchange also feeds the COVID data lake, uh, which is a COVID-19 dedicated AWS research environment that investigators can use to conduct their studies and their analyses. So let's talk about what researchers and data scientists have been able to do with a combination of COVID-19 data from data exchange uh, and the COVID data lake uh, as a research environment. Uh, I'm gonna talk about academic medical researchers. I'm going to talk about the uh, industry, commercial and governmental uh, customers, and then finally pharma. So academic medical researchers have been able to build predictive models to determine the risk of C-19 patients requiring ICU beds and ventilators. Uh, they've been able to conduct comparative effectiveness uh, research on medications that may have a positive impact on C-19 patients. And researchers have also been able to evaluate the impact of medical care that's been deferred during the pandemic. For example, our cancer patients' outcomes worsened um, due to this deferred care. 
uh, commercial and government customers have been able to uh, build demand forecasting on uh, a variety of uh, SKUs, uh, such as uh, consumer, uh, grocery, retail, medication, and uh, medical equipment and personal protective equipment, or PPE. You know, uh, again, where will those shortages occur and can they get ahead of uh, some of those disruptions in supply to be able to uh, enable and ensure uh, smooth and seamless supply and demand. Uh, those customers have also looked at management of the supply chain and the production line outputs um, across regions that, that are variably projected uh, with COVID-19 cases and against a uh, mosaic backdrop of social mobility restrictions. What are the impacts to the health of the supply chain, the distribution chain, and even the production lines uh, in this uh, new environment? Uh, and finally, uh, industry and government customers have been um, using data to understand the evolving dynamics uh, between customer sentiment, um, social activity and foot traffic data, and the impact of regional markets as we evolve uh, into this kind of next phase of the pandemic itself, uh, where initial spikes uh, will ebb and flow um, over the uh, foreseeable future. And finally, pharma um, has been able to uh, use data um, from the data exchange to accelerate vaccine trials. Uh, where should they be thinking about uh, conducting their phase two and their phase three trials in the backdrop of where those cases will be? Uh, pharma has been able to build predictive models to accelerate trials for COVID-19 therapies to manage the disease. And Life sciences organizations have been able to identify medications that may have a positive effect if potentially repositioned um, and relabeled for C19 use, uh, in particular uh, therapies such as anticoagulants uh, and even some uh, biologics in uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So again, you know, we've seen a wide swath of use cases across medical research, uh, across uh, industry and governmental use cases, and then obviously the life sciences organizations um, around this data uh, itself. So in closing, I hope this has given you a sense of how the world is using data from the data exchange to forecast, characterize, and manage these radical disruptions that C19 has imparted on patients, on populations, and on societies. Uh, frankly, with no precedent for the scale and the scope of this pandemic, it's only through analysis and research powered by data uh, that will allow our customers uh, to be able to figure out how to navigate this new world that we live in. So we'd be happy to talk to you more uh, about the data exchange and our customer stories related to COVID-19. Uh, please contact your AWS account executive uh, if you do wish to learn more. And thank you for your time today.